What's up everybody, Drew here. Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be covering what's the best iPad to use for your photo booth. And um, this is a complicated topic. It, you know, it, it goes, obviously your budget is, is very important. You know, what can you afford? But um, let's just get right into it, right? There are a lot of iPads. And um, you know, you have the iPad mini, you have the iPad um, Pro models, you have the iPad Air, then you have like the 9th, the 10th gen, 8th gen, and so forth. There's a lot of options. Any iPad you have, I always recommend to my customers to have the iPad have cellular data capabilities, meaning that you can buy an iPad, they sell two different models, right, for most iPads. One will be like a Wi-Fi only model, meaning that the only way that the iPad can connect to the internet is through uh, Wi-Fi, meaning you'd have to log into someone's, you know, internet. But if you have one with cellular data, which all of my iPads have, um, that means you basically get a SIM card from your phone carrier and you can insert it into your iPad and have data that way. Meaning, you know, you go to an event, you don't have to rely on the venue's Wi-Fi if you're doing like a digital event. You can literally show up with your own uh, your own iPad, and if there's internet, I'm sorry, if there's cell service there, you should be good to go. You should be able to send your photos, your videos, the GIFs, and all of that. So I think that's the first thing. Um, don't get me wrong, you can totally get by by buying a Wi-Fi only iPad, but just make sure, 100%, you have to make sure that there is uh, adequate internet at the venue. Sometimes you may have um, a Wi-Fi only photo booth and the venue may, they may tell you they have internet, but they may place you far away from that internet. So it, it doesn't even work. It, it won't, it won't work. Um, yes, you can use a hotspot, uh, you know, like a, your own little hotspot device. And yes, you can use your phone's hotspot, but from my experience and from what I've learned, you know, doing this for eight years, take your gambling when it comes to using your phone's hotspot, because it's not the strongest signal. And, um, you know, your, if you buy a hotspot, it's gonna be a better powerful signal. And then, you know, it's always good to have internet on it, ready to go. So that's first off, that's the most important part because with iPad booths, the internet connection is, it's everything. If you don't have internet connection, no one's getting their photos sent right away. And um, it's just not gonna be good for your brand, your company. You know, no one, no one wants to wait until you pick up the photo booth to resend all those photos. So that's really important. Um, I'll go ahead and say this is my own opinion. I don't think iPad minis make for good photo booths for a few reasons. One, the screen size, right? So this right here is the 12.9 iPad Pro, and this one is the 10.2 inch um, ninth gen iPad. Even though you may not think it's a big difference, it's a huge difference because the ninth gen, even though it's 10.2 inches, it doesn't use the full screen. And the 12.9, as you can see right here, you pretty much utilize the entire screen and it just makes for a better experience. So the iPad mini, I wouldn't use it. And another reason why the iPad mini and then the iPad Air and other iPads aren't good for photo booths is because if you're buying a shell, right? Like if you buy a photo booth shell for me, the photo booth shells only fit certain iPads. So if you buy one, you know, the deluxe booth for instance, it's it's made to fit the 12.9 iPad Pro only. You can't just all of a sudden buy that booth and then throw in, you know, your iPad mini. It, it has to be the right size. So that's really, really important. Um, and then also too, another really important thing for your iPad is what is the quality of the front facing camera? So the front facing camera is the camera you're gonna be using for your photos. And for iPad minis and especially older iPads, the megapixels and then just the quality of the photos, they're not that good. So that's why I recommend buying the newer uh, 12.9 iPad Pro, anything, you know, you can get away from the third gen and up. Um, the iPad Pro 11, um, pretty much anyone should be okay, but obviously the newer the better because the newer models have a higher megapixel front facing camera. The newer ones have the wide angle 12 point, I'm sorry, 12 megapixel camera. So that's really, really important. Um, you know, and I, I do sell the photo booths to fit the ninth gen iPad. This one does have the 12 point megapixel camera and the price difference between this uh, versus the 12.9 iPad Pro is insane. You can buy uh, this one here for about 
$400 with cell service, and then the new 20, the newest one, the sixth gen iPad Pro, the 12.9, that might run you, I believe, around $1,400. So there is a big price difference, but again, I, like I mentioned, like the screen size, this is gonna be better for the customer's experience because it's bigger and, um, you know, from my understanding, the software the software will run faster on this iPad. It's not a big difference. Uh, maybe I'll do a video showing it side to side, you know, the speed, but you know, this can still get you by. We still do offer this for, for some of our photo booths and never had a complaint, but just, you know, my own peace of mind, I'd rather spend an extra thousand on a 12.9 iPad Pro and just get that extra speed and um, screen size. So that's really, really important. Um, a lot of people want to use iPad Airs, and um, you could. They do make some photo booths on the market that will fit that, but for the most part, you're going to find photo booths that will fit the 12.9 iPad Pro. That also will fit the 9th gen, the 10th gen, and I believe you can use the lower gens, but I recommend starting off at the 9 because it has the um, home button, right? on the screen, which is really, really cool for some of the photo booths that we sell because you could still do guided access while um, the booth is, it, it's while the, uh, I'm sorry, while the iPad is in the booth. Um, so that's really, really, really important, you know. The iPad you use is literally, I would say, it's the, everything, you know, it's your processor, it's your computer, it's your camera, it's how, you know, customers get their photos. So it really just depends on your budget. And I, I, I didn't want this video to be about budget. I just wanted to strictly talk about the best iPad you can use. And that is gonna be 12.9 iPad Pro. Um, the 2020 model, I think that's the fourth gen. And then the 21, 2021 model is the fifth gen. And then the sixth gen is the 2022. Any three of those iPads will be great. Um, I personally don't think you need to buy the sixth gen just because the, um, they're not too far off. Um, yes, the front camera on the 2021 and the 2022 are higher megapixel, but you guys, back when I'm talking about iPads and um, I've never shied away from this, I'll be honest, 100%, any iPad you use is not gonna compete with a DSLR. So you have DSLR booths, you, if you want the best photo from a photo booth, that's gonna be the option. But you know, you guys already know how I feel about that. It's not as passive when you have to stay at an event, and that's why the iPads are the best. So I hope this video helped. Um, it's just you know something I wanted to make. It's just not exciting to talk about this stuff. But you know, if you're just wanting to get started and you're not familiar what iPad to use, um, you know the three that I would recommend using. Again, I'll just say it one more time before we sign off: the iPad ninth generation, the 10.2. You can also use the iPad Pro 11 inch. Obviously the newer ones are gonna be better for you when it comes to you know speed, the hardware, and then the front facing camera. But I, I think all the, the iPad Pro 11s will be good enough. And then the one that I would recommend if it's in your budget, iPad Pro 12.9. You can pretty much find any photo booth to fit this iPad because it's the standard. It's the biggest screen. Um, you know, processing is pretty much the same, I believe, from this one and the 11. I could be wrong, but it's not too far off. And you could just see just from, you know, side by side, 11, 12.9, it's a big difference. So, and then another thing I want to mention, like, if you have a T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, you can find these iPads at your phone carrier, and you can literally... Um, put a little down payment on it and then pay throughout the term of, um, I guess, owning it. So that is great too. You know, if budget is an issue, you can literally go to T-Mobile, um, pay 20 a month to get service. I'm not sure exactly if it's 20 or 15. And then you get an iPad with cell service and then you don't have to put all the money up front. You will pay, pay a little bit more than you would if you just bought it straight up. But you know, we're talking about payments and budget so that's totally up to you. So um, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, again, please give me a like. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Um, I'm just baffled that, I, I mean, 4,000 people would even care enough to do that. So um, thank you guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.